This is another problem coming from section 3.3 that was submitted by a student. And to start out, we draw our tree diagram, which I've already done. We have three different kinds of vehicles in a fleet, Lexus, Infiniti, and Mercedes. And then of those vehicles, they either have a CD player or do not have a CD player. So I have CD for CD player and NCD for no CD player. Over here to the far right, these are all the outcomes of the experiment. You can have a Lexus with a CD, LCD, Lexus with no CD, LNCD, and then and so on and so on for the other two types of cars. So first off, we need to go through and put our probabilities in for all the different, for the first stage of the experiment. So it tells us up here that 30% of the fleet is Lexus. So we'll just put a 30% in for the probability of having a Lexus. And then Infinity is 20%. And Mercedes is 50%. Now we need to go through and find the probabilities of each of these individual types of cars having a CD player. Okay, for Lexus, it says that there's a, let's see, 75% of Lexus cars have a CD player. So 0.75, and you know that must be 2.5 remaining, or 0.25 remaining. And then Infinity, we have 70% have CD players. That means 30% must not. And then for Mercedes, 55% of the Mercedes have CD players. So you know that must mean 45% of them do not. And for the first part of the problem it asks, what is the probability that a randomly selected car has a CD player? Well, what we need to do is go through and find all the outcomes of the experiment that involve the car having a CD player. So that would be Lexus CD player, Infinity CD player, Mercedes CD player. And then what we'll do is after finding their values, we'll add all those together, and that will be the overall probability that a randomly selected car has a CD player. So to find their, the value of that, of a Lexus CD player, well, we just go through and multiply the probability of it being a Lexus times the probability of a Lexus having a CD player. So that would be 0 0.30 times 0.75, and that's 0.225. And then for infinity, we just do the same thing. Probability of it being an infinity times the probability of it having a CD player. That's going to be 0.14. And then for the Mercedes, same thing, 0 0.50 times 0.55. And that's going to be 0.275. So what we can do now, like I said, add all these together. And that is going to give us, let me see. Okay, that is 0.64. And that is the answer to the first part of the problem. That's the overall probability that a randomly selected car is a CD player. Now, if we move on to part two, again, we'll have to do the same thing. And in this part, it's asking, what is the probability that a randomly selected car is either a Mercedes or has a CD player? So we need to go through and identify all the different outcomes that fit that criteria. So anything Mercedes qualifies. So we'll just go through and you know that Mercedes and then anything with the CD player also qualifies. So now we know it's these four values here that need to be added up. And that's going to give you 0.865. And that is the answer to part two of the problem. There's a nearly an 87% chance that it's either a Mercedes or has a CD player. And that solves your